Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, what are the benefits does WebDriver have over Selenium RC? Let me answer. So here to explain the benefits that Selenium WebDriver has over Selenium RC, I'm going to explain the difference between both the components. That is Selenium RC is one component of Selenium and the other component is Selenium WebDriver. These are the two components of Selenium. Now, by explaining the difference between these two components, I can explain the benefits that Selenium WebDriver has over Selenium RC. The first benefit is here, no proxy server required. Okay, if you have to run your Selenium automation scripts in Selenium RC, okay, with the help of Selenium RC, if you want to run your automation scripts, then you cannot run them directly. Okay, we have to first launch proxy server. In the command prompt, you have to run a particular command and that is going to launch the server. After this proxy server of Selenium RC is launched or RC server, you can also call this server as RC server is launched. Then only the Selenium scripts which are written in Selenium RC will be able to run on the browsers. So why this server? This server acts as a mediator between the Selenium automation scripts based on RC and the other side browsers will be there. Okay. Uh, this side of the proxy server, there will be automation code and this side of the proxy server, there will be browsers. Okay. This automation code to run on the browsers, we need this proxy server. What this proxy server is going to do? It's going to inject. Okay. Based on the Selenium commands you have used, uh, this proxy server is going to inject the appropriate JavaScript code into the browsers. Okay. It's going to trick the browsers to run the automation scripts. But here in Selenium web driver, this is no more required. Okay. Proxy server is not required. Okay. No proxy server required. You can directly run the automation scripts on the browser. Selenium web driver scripts can be directly run on the browsers because this Selenium web driver natively communicates with the browser. Okay. There is no need of uh, tricky, uh, tricking the browsers by injecting some, uh, you know, JavaScript code to get the job done. But here Selenium web driver will natively interact with the browsers. How that is natively possible? So with the help of drivers. Okay. There are some drivers. Every browser has a driver. Okay. So for example, Chrome browser has Chrome driver. Edge browser has Edge driver, Opera browser has Opera driver. Okay, this is from Selenium. Okay, these drivers are from Selenium. Selenium code with the help of drivers will be able to natively communicate with the browsers without uh, tricking them. There's no need of tricking them. Okay, and um, your scripts are going to run them directly. Okay, on the different browsers. Okay, Chrome driver, Five uh, Geeko driver, Edge driver, Opera driver, Safari driver, like a different driver, Internet Explorer driver, different drivers are there for different browsers which will help Selenium web driver to run the scripts natively on the browsers. Okay. But here proxy server is required here. No proxy server instead drivers will be there. Then next uh, thing. So this is a benefit of Selenium web driver, right? Natively communicating with the browsers is a benefit. There is no need of proxy server. Then Selenium RC is deprecated. This one is already deprecated. Guys. It's outdated. Okay. There's no, no one is using nowadays or there's no way to use it. Actually, it got removed from the market completely. And uh, nowadays, you can uh, now at this point of time, when I'm recording this session, it's uh, like uh, May 2023. It's not possible to use Selenium RC anymore. Okay, it's got removed. Okay, so it got deprecated and outdated. There is uh, no one can use it actually. But here, this is a main component of Selenium nowadays. Okay, the main component that if you talk about Selenium automation that uh, that is being going on in the projects. Okay in real time and all that is based on Selenium web driver only. Okay. There's a main component of Selenium and uh, it's currently there. Whereas the Selenium RC is already deprecated. Okay. So next one is Selenium web driver has large and complex library. This Selenium web driver has large and complex library. Okay. Why is the large and complex library is created for Selenium web driver? Because nowadays applications are very complex and uh, to do such kind of, to automate such kind of advanced uh, functionalities in the application, the advanced uh, kind of behaviors of the application. Okay, so at once the nature of the functionality of the application, if you want to automate, we need such kind of large and complex libraries which can do the which can automate the advanced stuff. But in Selenium RC, it's not that much advanced. It's uh, you know uh, small and uh, small and simple, simple library used to be there. But here now the library has become complex according to the day to day needs. Okay, then here object oriented APIs. Okay, object oriented APIs. Object oriented APIs are generally lightweight and uh, you know, they are lightweight. Okay. So secured and lightweight, you can say object oriented APIs are more secured and uh, lightweight. So here non-object oriented, non-object oriented APIs are there, which are not lightweight. They are heavy. These APIs are heavy, non-object oriented 
APH, which are heavy. Okay. So whereas this is a you know lightweight and a lightweight kind of uh, inefficient kind of APS are there. Then already told you right, uh, Selenium web driver natively interacts with the browser uh, browsers with their pop drivers. Natively, natively interacts with browsers with the help of drivers. Driver is good, like Chrome driver.exe, like that. Okay. Whereas this one doesn't natively interact, rather uses, rather injects JavaScript code. Code into browsers by tricking them. It's not an ethical way. Okay. That's the reason uh, now RC is deprecated and uh, Selenium web driver is currently running in the market. Okay. Then here we have the support for listeners. Listener support is there. So based on the events fired by the activities being performed by the by, while running automation scripts, we can take some actions. Like for example, if uh, you know uh, if a particular test is failing, okay, then it, it will file a kind of event based on the event, right? Uh, we can make it you know take the screenshot. Whereas this one, no listener support. No listener support. With the help of listener, there are several advantages. One of the advantages is to take the screenshot when a particular test fails automatically. That is possible with the help of listeners in a Selenium web driver, whereas it's not possible in Selenium RC. So these are some benefits uh, that Selenium web driver has over the Selenium RC. Okay, there is no need to start the proxy server in Selenium web driver, but in Selenium RC we have to do. Now Selenium RC is already deprecated, but Selenium web driver is currently the main component that everyone uses in Selenium automation. Selenium web driver has large and complex li library to deal with uh, advanced uh, uh, application functionalities, web application functionalities. Okay, whereas uh, Selenium RC is kind of simple and you know it's kind of you know it's not small and simple. You can say it's not complex libraries, so you cannot automate you cannot automate most of the things nowadays with Selenium RC. Okay, anyhow it is deprecated. We cannot use it. Selenium web driver has object oriented APIs where which are you know uh, which are lightweight and efficient at the same time. Whereas uh, Selenium RC uh, contains non-object oriented APIs, okay, which are not efficient and which are heavy in size. Okay. Then Selenium web driver natively interacts with the browsers. So it will directly communicate with the browsers with the help of uh, drivers and all. Okay. Whereas Selenium RC will inject the JavaScript code uh, by tricking them and then running the scripts. Okay. By tricking the browsers. Selenium web driver supports listeners, whereas Selenium RC doesn't support listeners. So hope guys, you got the answer for this question. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.